Have you seen Molly? It's a common phrase among teens and young adults these days. In some strange way, the past few years have seemed to become the years of Molly. As if it's some sort of new drug. Right now, substance abuse counselors say the IT drug is named Molly, and they say she's attacking Southwest Florida with a vengeance. And nobody really seems to know what it actually is. I've known about ecstasy. This is a first for me. Molly, a purified form of MDMA. Molly, the latest version of ecstasy that's often laced with other drugs like angel dust. So let me tell you what Molly is. There's a big difference between the chemical molecule and its official name and a street name for whatever drug you want to put in your body. Molly might be called Molly in the US, it's called Mandy in the UK, and saying it's a more pure form of MDMA or ecstasy means your MDMA or ecstasy was shit to begin with. Molly is the drug formerly known as ecstasy. There is no difference, it is exactly the same. MDMA is short for methylene deoxymethamphetamine. It was first popular among scientists who were impressed by how useful the substance could be in therapies doesn't change ordinary perception very much, but changes the feeling tone, the feeling quality, and reduces fear, thereby allowing you to look at, in a kind of impartial way, things that are normally just too anxiety-provoking to look at. But then this guy comes around, Catholic priest Michael Clegg. My whole life wanted to know the thoughts of God. When I had my first experience with ecstasy, it was like, uh, you know, Moses on the mountain <laughs> with the revelation. And he's such a big fan of the substance that he starts selling it to people around him with a new brand name, Ecstasy. Using Ecstasy is much like a game of Russian roulette in which we put one bullet in the revolver, spin the chamber and pull the trigger. Despite scientists and doctors fighting years in court, MDMA gets scheduled as one of the most dangerous and addictive drugs we know. Even though it really isn't, there's only one real problem with MDMA, and that's that a tiny sliver of the population seems to be particularly sensitive to it, sometimes with fatal results. But this is extremely rare and the science on it is still out. The main reason why MDMA got scheduled is simple, according to this expert. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Uh, if you do them, you're bad. Because drugs are bad, okay? Under the name ecstasy, the drugs spread all over the world. And nowadays, the word ecstasy usually means MDMA in a pill form. They usually come in different colors, different shapes and sizes. They sometimes have a drug logo on them, sometimes an energy drink logo on them, or sometimes even a US president. In the years that passed, pills like these often got mixed with other substances like amphetamines or caffeine, sometimes even psychedelics. For some reason, people started thinking that this was a normal thing, that these pills should indeed contain multiple substances. But that's not the case. After all these pills got so diluted, people started asking for the pure thing, the real thing, MDMA. And this is it. It comes in a powdery bag um, and uh, it's, uh, people dip their finger in there. And they lick their finger and they dip it in and then they put it in their mouth to get the effect, but it's a little harder to doze uh, this way. And then a new generation started calling this Molly, but we're still talking about the same substance that everybody is looking for. Maybe we should just call ecstasy pills MDMA pills, because that's just what they are and what they should be. And if there's anything else in there, we shall throw them away and not call them ecstasy.